this is a really useful exercise to show you how you can use Grasshopper to save time on your designs. So what I did here is I created the entire interior materials for a space just using a base curve. So what I did is I took a curve and I offset for interior materials. Then you'll see that I also created a base trim, crown, and a light here. So obviously this is, these are the details that I picked to create for the interiors on this space. But more than anything, this is going to show you an exercise on how you can create an entire script based on whatever materials you use for an interior, which will let you save time just by plugging in one curve. So you'll see here that we can change the size of this and all of the details are going to update. You can also take this polyline that we created here and override this one. So I'll go to set one curve. Now I can plug that and override it here with the relay and you'll see that it creates it here. So in this case, it works. I think when it's aligned in the X and Y, for the most part, it works. But when you, you'll see here in some cases, in some cases I've had it where it doesn't work. Now, I hope it works for the most part, but if you have any issues, let me know. Um, I think there's some workarounds, but yeah, I think this will save time. I want to later on come in with some of the floor plans that I've created and see how this script works within that. We're going to go now to the script here and the wall is typically going to be something that's already there, right? Let's say you have a set of walls, then you pick a curve. Well, what we want to do is start off of this base curve and from there we have the wall material. So you're seeing here that this is going to be, let's say the drywall, or if it's going to be brick or whatever it is, we can change that size here. Then we have the wall height, and this is going to be determined also on whatever floor plan you have. This is going to be where you plug in that number. So for now, let's go here to 10. Then, at the top here, we have the crown molding, which is the one at the top. And down here, we have the base molding, which, you know, creates this base molding here. And then we also have the floor material, which is under the base molding. And so that is also here. So down here. So what we're going to do now is go into this mode where it only draws the geometry that we select. And I'm going to show you how this kind of works itself out. We have both of these curves, one at the top and one at the bottom. Those are going to be the ones that we'll use to create the whole script. So going through the top here, I'm going to start by the showing you the offsets. So this center offset, that's going to be for the light. Then that's turned into a surface and extruded down. Then that's offset and we create this form by offsetting some line segments and lofting them. And then here we have the bottom portion, which then gets joined together into this form and subtracted from the light, which is this one. Now we're going to go through the bottom one, which is starting with the base curve here. And then you'll see that we move this up and shift it to create the first base form, which was this one. Then put together with this top base form into a solid and then moved up to create the floor material right under it. Now I did see that in some cases the loft doesn't work. So that's something I want to fix. But for the most part, you're going to see the work session where I create this whole script. 
If you want to download this, you can go to my website, capettydavid.com. There you can download this and other resources that can help you save time and also learn how this program works, which you can use to program your scripts, save time, and also see all your options and be able to change them and create super clean models that you can, you know, share with your clients or share with your professors or share, you know, with anyone. And so I don't think I went over this one here at the beginning. This is a cluster that I created, which does nothing more than create this shape in this shape. If we save this out here, this shape is just a square with squares in the corner and then joined together. So now one of the last things that I like to do is I cleaned it up and labeled all of these. And so you'll be able to see and change the sliders and change all of the options here. Like I said, sometimes it doesn't work when you plug in a polyline. So for now, let me double check all the work and I'll select these middle click and bake. And I like to bring this out here just to show you that. Let's go here to clipping plane vertical. I'll go from the midpoint. Now, when we look at this, here we have the light, we have the crown molding, we have the base molding, we have the material and we have the floor. So this basically gives you a clean interior with a crown molding base molding, just plugging in one polyline. All right, let me show you the whole process and uh, let me know if you have any questions.